one of the most important features of Komoot is the offline feature. Perhaps it's even the most important feature. Therefore you should definitely take a look at the following guide because I will explain everything about Komoot's offline feature. Hello, I'm your outdoor tech instructor. My name is Thomas. I'm your professional for instructions of Komoot, Google Maps, Garmin Basecamp, fitness apps, devices and much more. This tutorial is about the Komoot offline feature and these are our topics. Why do you need the offline feature? How does the offline feature work? Where are maps and tours saved? How much storage space do your offline data need? How do you set tours offline? And how do you set maps offline? Let's start with chapter 1. Do you need the offline feature? Let's talk about it first. Komoot needs an internet connection to refresh your map during navigation during a trek. So if you lose your internet connection, Komoot can't refresh the map. An example, if you want to zoom in or zoom out you and you lost your internet connection, the map cannot be refreshed. So, And also, if you have a restricted uh, data volume in your internet contract, in your mobile contract, um, you can save this data volume when you set your tours and maps offline so Komoot do not need an internet connection to refresh the map. It takes the map or the tour from your device. So this is the reason why you should use the offline feature. Now let's talk about how the offline feature works. Should you use an offline tour? or should you use an offline map or should you use both? It depends on what kind of user you are. And now I'll explain the difference between an offline tour and an offline map. I asked the Commod programmers about this and their answer was that in offline tours only part of the map to the left and the right of the path is set offline. They call these areas tiles. So if you leave the tour from this area, the map can no longer be loaded if you are offline. Unfortunately, this area can vary and is not visible to the user. That means if you never leave your navigation, an offline map will be okay. If you are an adventurer and often leave the navigation, you should set the map offline. And this is the end of our theory. Let's get in practice. If you are a newbie or you are an unskilled user and then you need, you do not need to change anything, Komoot will set this automatically. But if you want to use your own settings, then go to your user profile and then go to your settings. It's on top of the screen in the middle. And then go to Settings and Offline Maps. And here you can set the, the Offline Maps directory. If you use an own directory, you can change it here, the path. Um, but it's only for your offline files, not for the Komoot application. And then you can see if it's a free space. You can clear the path of your directory. Be careful by this. And then, but I think it's okay. If you clear the pass, you can just type in and Komoot set the pass automatically if you do not change here anything. So, and then you can clear the maps cache. And now let's have a look at your user storage. Go again to settings and then use it storage. It's close to connections here. 
And you can see here the use storage for your offline maps and for your offline tours. You can clear all at once, all maps at once or all tours at once. If you clear all tours at once, you do not clear the tours, you just clear the offline files. So no worry. How to set a tour offline? Go to your planet tours. So you can only set planet tours offline. Go to your planet tours, choose a tour you want to set offline. And here in the middle you can see store for offline use. You can only set tours offline if you bought the, the region or a region package or the world package, the whole world. Or you have a subscription to Komoot Premium. Maps you don't own, you can't set maps or tours in this region offline. So now, tap the slider, store for offline use. And then Komoot will start downloading the tour. Uh, you will get a notification if you don't use Wi-Fi. You can start if you want, but you can turn on your Wi-Fi. A tour do not need so much uh, storage to save. So I will start and tour will be set offline. You can see it's really fast. And now if you are inside the tour, you can see the tour is offline by the green slider. You can set it back to not store it offline then you will get again a no notification and then delete the tour and the slider is gray. I turn back to offline setting because I will show you something. Here in your list of planet tours you can now see what tour is set to offline. You see here on the right side from the tour there is a small gray pin. If you edit your tour uh, on the desktop, in example, um, then you should refresh the tour. So your download will also be refreshed. You can do this by tapping your finger on the screen and pull it downwards. And now you can see your list will be refreshed and also your downloads. So now we will have a look how to set maps offline. Go to your start screen or to your profile in the Komoot app and then you have a look at the bottom menu. In the right corner there is a premium button. It's only for premium subscriptions and if you don't have a premium subscription you will see there a region button. So tap this and then the last menu is offline maps and here you see all offline set maps uh, remember you can only set maps offline if you bought it if you bought a, the region or a region package that included the region or you bought the map uh, the, the world map and also, if you have a premium subscription, if your premium subscription ends, you don't own the map anymore. Okay, so now, how to set a map offline. You can see here my offline regions. There is Magdeburg and Jerichoer Land. This map is offline. So you can see it on the gray pin at the left side. If you want to set a region offline, Komoot will suggest a region on your current location. And here this is Mansfeld Südharz. So I will go into. And here I see the border of the map. But I can't zoom in. 
if you will have a look at it. Uh, sorry. If you will have a look at it, I recommend to use the browser on the desktop. And there you can also look for regions, but you can set it offline there. But you can see uh, the area they, they are covering. So now you see store for offline use is gray. It's unlocked. Unlocked means I have bought this region. And store for offline use is gray. It's not offline yet. And on the bottom you can see I need 30, uh, 53 megabyte free storage to save it at my storage. So now pull the slider and downloading takes much longer than for a tour. And now the slider is green. I will go back to the preview menu and here I can see now Mansfeld Zitos is also offline. Sometimes there will come updates for maybe you have to do this manually you have to take a look at it and so the next one is a region package here you can see hearts is a region bundle it's bigger than the first one than the region it's also unlock it and here you can see I need 166 megabyte to store it. If I'm looking for another another region or a region package, and I can use the search button. So maybe I will have a look for Liverpool. So I take Liverpool, and here are packages. So Liverpool itself is a single region. I can set it offline or if I want to use the reg region package what included the Liverpool region. This is Liverpool Manchester. Here you have the region bundle. So Komoot will always suggest the region and the region bundle what includes the region. You can also have a look for region if you plan a trip for uh, longer, for more days and you don't know what region or region package you need. Just use the browser. There you can have a look at it if you want. I can do another tutorial for this um, to show you how to look for region you need to set offline for a trip in example. If you want to clear an offline map to remove it from your storage, just go into the offline region and then just tap the slider so you will get a notification and then tip yes and your offline region will be removed from your device. I hope these tips are helpful to you. May you never get lost again without an internet connection. If you'd like to see more tutorials for Komoot, Google Maps, fitness apps and devices, leave me a comment below the video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. I'm Thomas, your outdoor tech instructor. See you soon!